The United States moved a resolution. India now says that's a rather weak draft. In this draft that the United States is presenting, it does not have India's concerns. The draft resolution is the same as the one that was tabled on Monday. Nothing was added to it today. Amendments possible but will not be included in the text anymore. There is a procedure which is to be carried out. Now, how will this procedure, the changes that India hopes to include, and that is that India has always supported humanitarian causes across the world. India has fought against apartheid. India has supported the Palestinian cause. The important part and the crucial part that India hopes will placate domestic political constituency is India would like an independent and credible investigation into alleged human rights violation in what happened in Sri Lanka. So that is what India wants and uh, India is against direct intervention or interference in any country's internal affairs. That is what India's draft is expected to say. Now, let me take you straight to Geneva and let me bring in headlines today. Is Lavina Tandan Pomo on this. Lavina, so far, India had adopted a rather hands off approach. It was Sri Lanka dealing directly with the United States of America. The Sri Lankan envoy was dealing with the Americans. Now, India wants to intervene. How is that? coming around and what are the changes that India hopes to bring about? But first of all, I must explain, Gaurav, the technicality of this whole thing. Now, whatever the text of the draft resolution is, which was tabled on Monday, that cannot be changed. So any amendment now that India needs to move into have to happen on the floor when the vote happens, which is tomorrow. Now, what is going to transpire really is there are two ways of doing it. The sponsor of, of of the resolution which is US and there are co-sponsors. When a sponsor moves uh, an amendment that is marked in the text of the uh, tabled resolution in red, in case of a voting member, which is India, wants to move an amendment, uh, then it will be voted. So India needs a majority majority vote out of 47 countries, 24, uh, 24, if I'm right, yes, 24 need to vote in favor of the amendments that India has proposed. The other way is you know, there are various permutation combinations of, of getting this majority and the okay. other would be that 46 countries have abstained and one, uh, if even one votes in favor of India, then the amendment will be gone. So what I'm trying to say is that they need a majority on the floor and now any amendment that needs to be introduced will happen on the voting day on the floor so that's one thing uh, that uh, needs to be remembered as far as the buzz about the amendment goes there is the, the there's lot to there's lot of uh, all the countries that are supporting the resolution yes. are really really looking towards india and this is very very important india's uh, move will be extremely important it is a watered down version and if we say it is an independent incredible inquiry a huge huge step um, okay. i think that india could take and move this resolution into also another thing that is happening today is okay. canvassing what the u.s is trying at the sri lanka is trying to do is try to get the states that have abstained to vote for example Botswana and malaysia and if that happens and they try and get them to become sponsors. Now, this is my source telling me, which I can't reveal. But if that happens, then that resolution in whichever form it is also will be strong. And if India moves the amendment in the way that you're saying, we absolutely want wonderful only if okay. it wants a majority. Okay. For the moment, Ravina, many thanks for joining me. I will come back to you for more on the story.